Yes My Dudes. I'm Alex and thanks for checking out another video. Today we're going to be breaking down a track called I Can See by Harvey Sutherland and I couldn't find a live video of this tune being played so I'll put a link down in the video description if you want to go and check out the original but the groove we're going to learn sounds something like this. out to Osk L for the request for this one. I hadn't heard this tune before. So I looked up who the drummer is and it's down as being Khalil Memphis. But when I did a bit of research on Discogs, that comes up as an alias of Yusuf Days. So for anyone who's clicked on the video, this is a cheeky little secret Yusuf Days breakdown. We're not gonna worry as much today about playing everything note for note, but we're more gonna look at the concepts and talk a bit about improvisation. So I tap the tune out at about 156 BPM. It's in six, four time. One E under, two E under, three E under, four E under, five E under, six E under. We'll get through a few variations, but let's start with the main groove. So to get things started, we're simply gonna play a single stroke roll between our hi-hat and our snare drum in 6-4. We're gonna ghost note our left hand, and then we're gonna bring our right stick down to the snare drum for an accent on beat two and beat three of the bar. These accents are pretty consistent throughout the tune, so you can think of this almost like a rhythmic framework to get you started. But if that's all feeling comfortable, we're just gonna add in a couple of extra elements to give us a groove to work from. Firstly, we're gonna accent those left hands that lead into the downbeats of two and three. Those accents will be played on the uh of beat one and the uh of beat two. Then we just need to add in our bass drum on beat one, the and of beat four, the e of beat five, and the downbeat of six. I'll play this for you twice at half speed and then four times at full speed. So now we've got a basic groove to work from. The first thing we're gonna experiment with is variations in our accent patterns. So one that comes up pretty frequently throughout the track is to play an accent on the uh of beat one, the downbeat of two, the and of beat two, and then the downbeat of beat three. So in our single stroke roll, these accents will be played left, right, right, right. When you're comfortable with this variation, I definitely recommend trying out some of your own as well, because in my opinion, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So what I'll do is I'll play this variation four times, and then I'll take four bars where I'll try out some of my own ideas as well. Okay, sick, so definitely starting to sound a bit more like the vibe. So the next thing we're gonna experiment with is texture, and in particular, opening the hi-hat. So a classic placement that keeps coming up throughout the track is on the and of beat six, but again, let's experiment and come up with some of our own ideas too. So just like before, I'm gonna play four bars of that variation, and then I'll take four bars to improvise. Here we go. And the last option we're gonna look at for this particular groove is this sick little hi-hat variation that happens on beat five of the bar. So if we look at that fifth beat of the bar, we've got four 16th notes with a bass drum played on the E and the sticking right, left, right, left. All we're gonna do is replace that sticking with right, right, left, left, and keep our bass drum in the same position. This seems like a simple change, but it definitely has an effect on the overall feel. So take your time to get used to the sticking and just experiment with it. Because there's a bit more going on in this one, I'm gonna play it for you slow and then fast. Now 
Nice work, my dudes. So of course, there's loads more variations throughout the track, but I'll let you have a listen to the original and see what you can pick out. So for now, we're gonna call that our A groove and move straight onto the B. So in our B groove, we're gonna change texture entirely. Our right hand's gonna move over to the ride cymbal and our left hand is gonna move between the snare drum and the hi-hat. So we're gonna split our groove in half and the first thing we're gonna talk about are these little groups of four where your right hand overlaps a group of three with your left hand playing a group of two. This is a classic Yusuf Days phrase, which again, makes it seem quite likely that Khalil Memphis is in fact Days. So the sticking for these groups is right, right, together, left. Ideally, playing an accent on the together and a ghost note on the left. But to be honest, you can do whatever feels good with the music. And slow, it seems easy enough, but honestly, when you speed this up, it's super tricky to play. So all together, our sticking for the first half is right, left, right, right, together, left, right, right, together, left, right, left. We're gonna stick a bass drum on beat one and above. We're gonna open our hi-hat with the last left hand of the half. We're gonna play accents on the snare drum on beats two and three and ghost note the left. Here we go, slow to fast, my dudes. Definitely some tricky phrasing in that one, mate. But luckily, the second half of the bar is actually the same as our hi-hat variation that we looked at in our A groove. It's gonna feel slightly different playing it up on the ride cymbal, but if you've got it down on the hats, you should have no problems here. So all we need to do is put the two halves together and we're good to go. Sick, mate. So it's definitely worth having a listen to the original track and seeing what other variations you can pick out. But between these two beats we've looked at today, it should give you something to jump off from. So in my opinion, it's way less important to play this stuff note for note, but much more beneficial to take influence from it, have some fun and see if you can make it your own. So with that in mind, let's improvise around the themes and see what we can come up with. Yes, mates, I hope you got something from this. And if you upload a video of you playing it, I would love to see it, man. You can tag me up on Instagram at, at drumhubtuition. And if you upload it in your story, I'll always share it, mate. We'll leave it there for today. So if you're digging the videos, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew, man. I'll see you next week.